Hello, welcome to C2A Maths Lab. Today we will learn something about 3D geometric figures. This is a sphere. It is curved from all the sides. If you cut a sphere, you will get two circles. It's a curvy linear figure. It's a curve. Baseball, basketball, football, they all are spheres. Next we have ellipsoid. If you look at this ellipsoid, when you cut an ellipsoid you will get two ellipses. You will not get an oval or two ovals. Why? Because both the edges from both the ends, the curves are equal. Whereas in ovoid, this is an ellipsoid and this is an ovoid. You can see the difference. Here in ovoid, one end is smaller than the other. Whereas in ellipsoid, both the ends are equal. So this is an ellipsoid and this is an ovoid. You can see the difference. Now we have rectangular prism. A prism has two ends. These are two ends of a prism which are equal, same and parallel. Now let's take this triangular prism. This is rectangular prism. This is triangular prism. Both the bases are triangles which are equal and parallel. So this is a triangular prism. Rectangular prism, triangular prism. It is a cube. A cube has six faces which are equal. It has eight corners and twelve edges. Now let's count the faces first. One, two, three, four, five and six. Let's count the corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight corners. Let's count the edges. One, two, three, four, four on this side, one, two, three, four, which means eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are twelve ed edges. Then we have cylinder. This is a cylinder. It has two ends which are same and parallel. Ends are also called bases. A cylinder has two bases. It can roll. It doesn't have any corner. It is a cylinder. This is a cone. We all are familiar with ice cream cones birthday caps so this is a cone it has got one flat end and it can stand on it and the other end is pointed then we have triangular pyramid a pyramid has a point on top where all the sides meet and there is one flat end so now the end looks like a triangle. This is why this is called a triangular pyramid. A pyramid has all the sides merging at one point. Triangular pyramid. Let's take the other pyramid. Now in this pyramid you can see there is a point where all the sides are meeting. 
and the base is square so there are four sides here the base was triangle there therefore there were three sides now here there are four sides one two three and four so there are four sides it has a squared base this is why we call it a square pyramid today we have learned about 10 10 geometric solids sphere ellipsoid ovoid rectangular prism triangular prism cube cylinder cone triangular pyramid and square based pyramid so we have covered 10 geometric solids today in this class in a classroom you can keep these geometric solids in a box with their names so that children can work easily they can do matching they can keep the solids on the table and they can match the slips so this is an activity that can be played in a classroom you can see i have kept this box in my maths lab in geometry section where you can see all the shapes geo boards are kept